Hey everybody, Tammy here, and this little turtle shell was found on my Aunt Cookie's ranch, and she finds them all the time, I guess. Anyway, she gave me one. I thought it'd make a great project, especially since Santa Fe is back in style. And the first thing I'm going to do with this old bleached out shell is stain it with this stain, see how it turns out. And as the progress goes, I'll come back and show you how far I've gotten and what I'm doing. I'm also going to drill some holes where you see those spots to put beads or some other kind of decoration. This will be hanging on a wall for a Santa Fe or Western style home. I'll be back later to show you what the stain looks like. Well, okay, I'm back for the moment and I put a couple of layers of the stain on and I'm not liking it. It's not near dark enough. It was uh, colonial maple color and uh, it's pretty old, the stain. I got it out of the shed. So I'm about to go back out and see if I can find another stain that's a little darker than this. This is just not working. Um, be back later to show you if I can find something better. Okay, Hi. friends, I'm outside now and I can't find any stain worth a darn around here, but I did find some brown spray paint. So take a look at it as it's as it is now. I'm going to go ahead it with some brown spray paint and see how that turns out. Alrighty, I had a little bit of trouble. But this is what it looks like right now. Um, I found some brown spray paint. Didn't work, didn't have a nozzle. Put a nozzle on it and then it stopped working altogether. So I had to go to Walmart, but I also had to go all the way out to Buchanan to drop off a bird that was injured in my yard. So it's been a busy day. Um, thank God for people who rescue birds, but boy was that out of the way. So here's the, what it's looking like so far. And I'm gonna paint it, you know, paint it on the other side and the inside on the inside and the other side and I'm trying to decide on what I'm going to put on it. I bought some beads at Walmart that I think are going to look fabulous. But anyways, I'll uh, show you later. Well, I decided to do a dark brown, a glossy brown on front and back and then I hit it with some white paint around the edges. This is where I'm at so far and I guess if I don't like what it looks like when I add the other things to it, then I can change it up. I can always go over it with brown again. Um, can you see where it's been? I think this poor turtle was eaten by something. If you look right here, oops, I should not have done that. You can see the bite marks like right there, right there. It looks like something ate it, maybe a, a coon or something. Anyway, still working on it. I'll get back to you later. Okay, here's the turtle shell so far. I got the beads attached, husband drilled the holes, got this all done up, and I'm going to put a fastener on the back, and I'm going to decorate the front with a Lone Star beer label. And I'll show you that when I'm done. Okay, everyone, this little wall hanging is just about done. Um, as you can see, I decided I'd put skeleton leaves on it, kind of like wings. This will hang on the wall. I also have where I can, inside the top, I could put dried flowers or something else there. I'd like your opinion on this. Before I make this completely done, let me move this chunk out of the way here. Um, the leaves are not attached yet. With, let's get a little opinion here. Should I leave them? Or, with or without people? Anyways, I, I think it's turned out pretty cute. Uh, I'm going to hang it on the wall somewhere when I'm completely done with it. Have a blessed day.